All right, guys, so this next project is a favorite of mine. I hope you guys enjoyed um, listening to those fun stories about the pigeon. Um, I actually found out about those stories a few years ago. My nieces um, had a birthday party, and they requested a pigeon birthday cake, and I thought that was so odd. And so they were like, well, um, Auntie, like, they are this pigeon is from one of my favorite books and so I was super curious so I looked up the books and I was like these are hilarious and I thought well I think we could draw pigeons like Mo Willems does so that is what started this project so from then on we have I've done this cool pigeon project where we get to draw our own pigeon just like the one in the book so Go ahead and get a blank piece of paper, something to draw with, and follow along with me. Alrighty, so we are going to start out with a big circle for the head, and that is going to be in the top kind of quarter of the page. Then to make it look like the pigeon in the book, they the pigeon in the book has an unusually large eye. So go ahead and draw that unusually large eye, and then inside that eye is an unusually large pupil and the pupil is a black part of the eye all right now you can go ahead and do the beak of the pigeon and if you want your pigeon's beak to be open so you want them to say something you can go ahead and do that all right then we are going to do two long straight lines coming down because the pigeon in the book has a long skinny neck and it also has this stripe on the neck. So go ahead and do two lines to make that stripe on his neck. Then you guys are going to want to go to this side of the neck. And you're going to go down and around and back up. Kind of like a big bowl shape. Then you're going to want to take your line and connect it back to the neck. Then you're going to follow that same line again. Go up and across, but you're gonna stop. You're not gonna connect it all the way back. And that's gonna be his little wing. Then you just need to draw two straight lines going down. And then his one, two, three toes. And that's it. Easy peasy. Okay, so now I'm going to do a speech bubble over here that says, please. Then I'm gonna color it. And then that's all you guys have to do too. Here at school, we painted them with watercolors, uh, but you guys can use whatever you have at home to go ahead and add the color to our pigeons today. And then when you are done coloring them, make sure you color the whole paper. Go ahead and take a picture and send it to me. I can't wait to see what you guys create. 